It certainly is not. What it's doing is sitting. And it's a really nice picture, that, because you can see that the sky looks snowy white. It almost looks like it's been placed against a sort of white background. Now, that is because David is exposing for the bird and not for the sky behind. And that's why that's such a remarkable picture. I'm trying to do the same as you, David. I'm trying desperately to create what you have created. Fortunately, my brilliance does not extend to yours. Mm -hmm. Now, what I would very much like him to do is his display. While you look at him, and while we wait for him to do his display, I will inform you that I did an extensive walk around the area. Those impala were very upset by my presence, and I suspect quite strongly that whatever it is, and I'm pretty sure it's Shongile, is still around this area. We are now at the Galago Pan, so we're going to spend a little bit more time here and just see if we can't, if she doesn't pop out. There he is, David. That is the yellow-billed hornbill, in case you're wondering. We know that, of course, David, because he has a yellow bill. Well done. Good. You are learning. Whenever I used to say things like that to Brian Joubert, he would say, uh, because it's got a black tail, because <laughs> it eat fr eats frogs. It doesn't, of course, eat frogs at all. It does eat chameleons, though. Hello, Brian. <laughs> I'm assuming, assuming it's not the uh, Brian Joubert I was talking of earlier. Brian, you say you never thought a bird could look like that. I'm, I'm not sure what to say to that, Brian, other than they can look like that, and indeed they do, many of them. Many hornbills from here all the way into Southeast Asia look very similar to that. 